Hello viewers, this is IT System Admin, a complete troubleshooting solution for you. Today, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create custom view event log viewer in Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. Sometimes it becomes very important for you, so don't forget to watch full video. In the Windows 10 operating system, we use Event Viewer to troubleshoot any of the computer problems. It is the most amazing tool that keeps logs about system events and security events. It monitors both the software and hardware problems on your computer. The app keeps track of all the information on the system that scrolling through the huge logs will consume a lot of time. That being said, it is often difficult to go through the large details in the logs. Fortunately, the event viewer allows its users to create custom views. You can set the filter and sort the recorded data to limit the information details to only what you are interested in. Now I am going to show you how to create custom event viewer in search type event this is event viewer app click on event viewer look it is difficult for you to read all the information about all the events so you can filter your less necessary event logs that's why you need to create custom views Expand custom views. Now click on action. Click on create custom view. You can set a lot of time. I'm setting any time. And the event level, I am selecting only the critical event. I don't need warning information purpose. I am just selecting critical and error by log event logs click on drop down now which type of event you need click scroll windows log i just need only security log and system logs oh, i don't need application setup and forwarded events okay i just select security and system logs okay now click on okay now give a name i'm giving my custom logs okay now click on okay Look, my custom log are created and you will only find error and critical information here. Now you will just find the custom logs what you need and all custom logs detail messages are very limited so it is easy to read the information now close event viewer this is all for today hope this tutorial is helpful for you keep watching for next tutorial thank you very much